welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my darlings. Thank you so much. If you're subscribed to this channel, you're a darling. If you're subscribed to my music channel, you're a honey. If you're subscribed to both, you're the best. I need that be so. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Special shout out to the patron who requested this. John B. Hey, my darling. Thank you so much. You requested that I watch Misery from 1990. That name, Misery. Misery. What kind of title is that? Let's just start there because that's how I like to start with it. Misery. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good at all. Oh, well, before we get into the reaction, please subscribe. And remember that if you have any film reactions that you want me to do, please consider becoming a patron to this channel depending on the tier that you choose. The highest tier gets to make one film reaction request. The other tiers get to participate in the polls that we have monthly. So consider, consider jumping aboard and being part of the honey family. I appreciate you guys. Yes, I'm stalling. Yes, I'm stalling. I, I have, I, that word misery doesn't sit well with me. Um, I've had this question asked and I'm going to just um, put it out there that a lot of times people ask me if I react to other things other than music and movies. And the answer is yes, I do. I've reacted to cooking. People have sent me clips of cook food. Um, they want to get my reaction to documentaries. They, what I, I love documentaries. Anything that teaches me something gives me insight ooh, about the life of someone. Oh my God, those are the best kinds. I love documentaries. I love things about nature. I love things about, you know, family life, intimacy, um, whatever it is. Just send it to me if you want me to watch. Sometimes also you have the right to say, oh, I don't want my name called or it's just personal for me alone. I, this is my body of work and I want to share it with you and I want you to give me feedback on it. Yes, I'll be more than happy to do that for you as well. So don't hesitate to send me, send it in, make those requests, become a patron. I'm plugging my patron channel and it's a great way to get in touch with me and find movie music loving individuals and we have fun over there. We're, we're a pretty nice and decent bunch. <laughs> okay, let's get into the film reaction. Hit that subscribe button and... Could have asked if it was a uh, horror. Oh, it's in red. Oh, oh, then it's horror. Then look at look at the color. It looks like a a bloody red. Without it, what else was there? Breathing might not seem like much. It doesn't seem like much, but without it, what else is there? The end. Untitled by Paul Sheldon. I don't do that. That bag is worn out. Slow down. You're on the curve of a mountain and it's an icy road. You know what I mean? Never go at full. You're t you must always be slow. Oh, see now they're showing us the tire. Lauren Bacall. Oh, I just did. I just did a movie with her in it. Oh, Poirot. Murder, murder on the Express, Orient Express. Murder. She was there. She was the mother. You guys. Oh, she was fantastic. That's the first time I've. What that? Uh, oh, her name. But the others, I don't know who they are. Slow down. You can't see. Slow down. Slow down. Why can't people be like me? I. If people were more like me, lives would be saved. I would park, sir. Park, park, park. Oh, my God. Can they stop showing me these people's names, please? It's making me seem as if it's a burial. What's that? An old friend. I was a writer. See, You're still a writer. Like a... And if I hadn't gotten rid of her now, I'd have ended up writing her forever. Huh? 
thank God somebody found him. Thank God, because they're trying to pry it open. I'm your number one fan. We're just outside Silver Creek. What are they? They're called Navarro. They're for your pain. I come on that hospital. The blizzard was too strong. I couldn't risk trying to get you there. You got to rest. You almost died. Open wide. He doesn't look like he's getting it. Your legs just sing grand opera when you move, don't they? What I'm most proud of is the work I did on those legs. Considering what I had around the house, I don't think there's a doctor who could have done any. Jesus. It's not nearly as bad as it looks. You have a compound fracture of the tibia. In the meantime, you've got a lot of recovering to do. And I consider it an honor that you'll do it in my home. This is Marsha Sandell. I'm calling from New York City. I'd like to speak to the Silver Creek chief of police or sheriff. What can I do for you? I'm a literary <laughs> agent, and I, I feel like a fool calling you. I'm sure you know that uh, Paul's been coming to the Silver Creek Lodge for years to finish his books. Oh, I don't know. Does he usually phone you before he checks out of a hotel? <laughs> no. Tell me I'm being silly. Oh, a little overprotective, maybe, but put his name through our system. And if anything turns up, I'll call Your you right system. back. Is that the system you have on the board there? Is that the system? Virginia, when was that blizzard? Last Tuesday. Why? Well, it wasn't any secret to me you were staying at the Silver Creek, seeing as how I'm your number one fan and all. No. Well, the other afternoon, I was on my way home, and there you were, leaving the lodge. Oh, Paul, I've read everything of yours, but the misery novels. I know them all by heart. If you give me their numbers, I'll keep trying them for you. Thank you. I wondered if maybe... You want to read it? Only my editor, my agent. And anybody that saves me from freezing to death in a car wreck. Oh. I'll get you your novel, Paul. Forgive me for prattling away and making you feel all oogie. I know it sounds crazy, but I haven't written anything but misery for so long. Like I could do that. I, I, sorry, um, sir, I don't think you should be. This girl is making me nervous. Don't yeah, drink any medicine. See, he always gum. orders a bottle don't of gum, pairing y'all when he's ready to go. I don't think Mr. Sheldon likes for things to be out of the ordinary. Put on airs. Mm. Drives up from New York in the same car each time. Mm. Considering that. So, no, he never bothers a soul. I sure hope nothing's happened to him. So mm. do I. So? I'm sure you're right. Thanks, Libby. My pleasure. Pause. See, see, let's just pause right here and right now. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Um, you know me, I always think ahead. I'm always like trying to figure things out. But that that whole thing, I wanted to mention it because when the the his editor told him, right, said you have you bought your the misery books have cost paid for your daughter's days, put her through college, things like that. I was like, oh, he's he's a wealthy person. But when we looked at his car, he was driving a car that wasn't very, you know, he wasn't a showy, show-off person. And you can see how he's relating to this Annie girl, very courteous, very respectful, letting her read his the manuscript, this book without even, you know, no, no worry and everything. Okay, so what I know, what what is making me very worrisome about this Annie girl was when she said that she followed him. She's one of those fans, you know that which you'd never know how they might tilt because if she she said she was watching his lights, so she didn't say it in a I was watching you and drooling fashion. But that that's not the only way madness presents itself. You know what I mean? It's not the people who are obviously kiki kiki ki that are the crazy ones. Sometimes it's even the well-behaved ones anyway she said what made me feel very uncomfortable about her was when she told him that she was watching him from the you know and she knew that i think she had been watching him she knew that he's coming up 
and he's staying at this lodge and he's writing his books there and he's she he's she's been monitoring him who knows who knows because remember he pressed the brakes but in my mind i think the brakes did not work because of the slippery it's snowing remember he was pressing the brakes to stop but the car kept going the brakes i it, I thought it was because of the slippery thing. Now that my mind, my brain juices are flowing. What if she tampered with the thing so that he could have an accident? Who knows? Who knows? This The girl doesn't seem, you know. And see now, he says that, oh, when am I able to use your phone? Why can't she bring the phone to the room? Why can't she connect it to the room so he can call his family? She said, oh, give me their numbers. I will contact them for you. Right? And then the 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 editor called and they said it was last week tuesday i don't know what today's date is in their own time but when he woke up remember she said it was just two days i can't tell what it could be two days from sunday or it could be you know what i mean from the past sunday but however this you know i'm not liking her the way she's doing she's doing very weird no, I don't. I don't. I don't already like it already. I, I already have a bad feeling, and and I just have to pause. You know. But honestly, his legs were terrible. Terrible. They looked bad. Like they were. Oh. Oh my gosh. I know I'm only 40 pages into your book, but what's ridiculous? Who am oh. I to make a criticism to someone like you? It's all right, I can tell. The swearing, Paul. Oh. There, I said it. Everybody talks like that. They do not? Oh. What do you think I say when I go to the feed store in town? I tell Mrs. Bollinger, oh, here's one big bastard of a check. Give me there. See what you made me do? Oh, Paul, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I get so worked up. Can you ever forgive me? I love you, Paul. What? Your mind, your creativity. That's, that's all I meant. Paul, Paul. Paul, are you listening to me? Paul. Paulo. Paulo. We need a way to get out of here. Oh. Hey, Paul. So. <laughs> what the laughter of fear and nervousness this is this is this is fear coming out as laughter just happened what what made her upset are we missing something what made this woman upset right now the profanity that was happening with fictional characters is what caused her to go off to begin to shout someone who's never written a book someone who doesn't know she's it went from they don't do i something some no they do not have you lived the life of a slum kid or whatever that you are bursting through the seams because someone's i knew she had issues i knew she had issues the the heat is on the heat is on all i need paul to i wish she had left that plate so that at least paul has his spoon to defend himself because the way i see this woman <laughs> this this is the where did the blow up come from what the Thank God. You see Paul's eyes? Paul's eyes spoke to my eyes. And Paul said to my eyes that I'm in trouble. And I concur. He is in trouble. I don't, even, I don't know what to say. This is so... 
I, do you know what is it annoys me now is that she's wearing a cross and I'm sorry you know a lot of times when you watch when you hear stories about the strictness of religion infused into characters that are opposite from them not Christianity alone anyone you see with who is neck deep into their faith without embracing reasoning the way they analyze information that is opposed to theirs is quite vicious. So, as for, what I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't. I just this is trouble. Please, he should show me his leg. Let me know how far the healing has gone. Hey, goodness gracious! Goodness gracious! She, she won't let him go. She doesn't want... Ah, I can see it already. I can see it happening. She's not going to agree. She's in love with him. She said, I love you, Paul. I love you. Hey? Hey? I love you. Where? How? Because she's been poking at... Looking at him through the window. I told you guys. I told you something was wrong with her. I told you. Anybody. Which kind of fan base... I. There are actors that I love. Do you think I'm going to go out, it, sit in my car and be looking at their window light their, in, in their house? Stalking. That's where it is. Stalking. And she now proclaimed love for him. How is she going to let him go now? Someone she loves. <clears throat> what? She helped. Oh, my goodness gracious. <clears throat> let me just pull out our plan now from today paul should just go on fasting he shouldn't eat anything drink anything he gives just give, let her be giving him clear water till his leg heals be, huh? Huh? Ah, play oh no 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 policeman yes please I know I, 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 I want to say that they will find him, but I don't believe they will because then the movie will just end. Oh my gosh. Well, it sure is fun. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hey. What? Grandma. Virginia. That's why he wanted you to focus. Thank God for you. Thank God for men who do their job. Yes, go down. Yes, slowly. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, careful, careful, sir. Yes, the car, the car. Oh, oh the car. Oh. You see? You see? They had it at the store, Paul. There was a whole batch of them there. And as soon as I saw it, I slammed my money down. I got the first copy. And the roads are open. Well, the one to town is, but that's about it. I called the hospital, and I talked to the head ortho. Well, mine's still out, but the ones in town were working just fine. I called that agent of yours. The agent said she would tell her you were okay, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait till tomorrow if you want to talk to her yourself. What a poet you are. She didn't listen to anything he said about his daughter. She didn't get it. She didn't hear. Her mind isn't there. I made you my specialty. Scrambled eggs a la Wilkes. Oh, that is beautiful. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. I feel sick. I don't know why I feel sick. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Let me just... I feel really sick. The woman is scaring me silly. I always hate the like, like she's acting weird. I don't like it. Mm -mm, I don't. The whole thing about that is just the, the thing that just every moment scares me with horror movies. But that's beside the point. What I'm just trying to say is that the way she's ignoring him frightens me because I don't know what's in her head. I know I'm pausing a lot because I need to pace myself. I'm sorry. I will try not to pause too much anymore. But I, 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 I'm really, 
like you when, when he's talking about his daughter he's talking about the birthday he's talking about so many things and she's she's not listening to him she's not listening to him at all and that is scary like what is actually what information is going through her mind that makes her absent to what he's saying <laughs> All she's just talking about is the book, the book. And see the thing she said. He was like, oh, the roads are good. He was like, yeah, so, but, but it's the road towards here, but not the road towards there. Lies. Oh, you were able to call. Yes, my phone, but it's the phone in town, not my phone here. Oh, Pooh, I can't think of any words. It's not just great. It's... Can... Oh, you see that fork? Hide it. Hide it and use it for protection, please. Just in case, just in case, you don't know if she loses her temper and decides to beat you up, you know? And you know, what's the one was, remember what he was saying with his editor? He was saying that th this misery book, she said she's read all eight, right? That's the one he's planning on ending. Pretend. I sell misery. What? Misery. Yes, I told you I was. Pig is what she is. I'm on page 300. Yeah, that and Misery's child. Those are the only two divine things ever. Paul should not tell this woman that. When my husband left me, I wasn't prepared. Night shifts can be lonely at a hospital. I did a lot of reading. Mm. Of course, I suppose you had a little something to do with that, too. Yeah, well. I've only got two chapters to go on this one, and I know when I finish, I'll just turn right to the first page and start reading. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against marriage per se, but it'd take a pretty special guy to make me. I'd love to stay here and chat, but I'm right at the end, and I gotta find out what happens. He's been laying on his back for... Oh my gosh. Misery Chastain cannot be dead. Oh but her spirit is the important thing, and Misery's spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! She didn't just slip away! You did it! <laughs> you oh did God. it! You! <laughs> Uncle, look at our leg. Look at our leg. Let's see what's happening over there, please. Because my temperature is rising. <clears throat> Just look at your leg. Look at your leg. <laughs> no, no. Oh my gosh. No. Ah, what? gosh if she comes back and catches us on the floor what will we say what will be the reason what will be the reason what will be the reason we on the floor how will we explain ourselves she will beat us up she will beat us up she will beat us she will beat us black and blue <laughs> yes we're working close with the state police and the fbi has been informed no bother at all. Call any time. Goodbye, Miss Sindel. You poor dear thing. What are you doing on the floor? Oh, Daisy. Oh. Right, baby. Oh. That leg looks terrible. Please. I couldn't remember all the things they were asking me on the witness stand in Denver. The 
This is no time for jokes. You must rid the world of this filth. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. So if you want me to burn my book, fine. You're not really ridding the world of it. I know this is the only copy, Paul. When you were 24, you wrote your first... I'll tell you what. It, it doesn't ever have to be published. No one ever has to read it. Why are you arguing with a mad woman? Please. I know it's hard for you. Just... You, I think you should light the match, Paul. We're put on this earth to help people, Paul. Like I'm trying to help you. Paul, light the match. Please. Be sure she serves you for, for, for barbecue and crackers instead of what you asked for. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh, my. That's the Stedman place down there. And that's the Wilkes farm. I do believe the winters are getting shorter and shorter every year. Here's your novel. Don't drink that medicine, please. I don't know what she's giving us. Yes, good job. Why would you be making you your medicine to make you better? Who knows? It might be medicine to make me. Because obviously, she doesn't want him to go. She doesn't want him to go. Hello, Sherry. Sherry, tell us about the date. This nice? Great. If I knew this was gonna be the surprise, I'd have burned all my books. Now, don't poke fun. After all, writers do need a place to work. Work? Now that you've gotten rid of that nasty manuscript, you can go back she to doing to what you're great at. She wants him to rewrite the story. Misery's return. Oh, Mis see this girl. She has found the title already. Killed her, and now you'll make it right. Ah. It'll be a book in my honor. You just expect me to whip something off, is that it? I expect nothing less than your masterpiece. You just inhale that. I'll be right back. I guess you don't get bothered by neighbors much. Don't you worry about that. You'll have total solitude. So I got a great deal on this 50 pound clunker on account of it's missing an N. It's, it's two of the letters in my favorite nurse's name, Annie. <laughs> I can't work on this paper. See, it's graspable bond that it smudges. But mine costs the most, so I don't see how it can smudge. Anything else I can get while I'm in town? Any other crucial requirements that need satisfying? What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. I go out of my way for you. I do everything, man. Okay. She's coming back. She's coming back. 
give him his bath and stuff when she see him don't go in there don't go in there no no she can't get through no she will soon be back she will soon be back she will soon be back oh my god oh my You can't make it back in time. Oh my god, you this guy, you're killing me. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> hey, she scot us. Hey, there's no reason to. Just give up, just give up, give up. She's gotten you. She's gotten you. You're dripping with perspiration. Your color is very hectic. What have you been doing? It just breaks my heart to see you like this. The main reason I've never been more popular is because of my temper. Tipsy's up. Uh. There you go. I don't know. I'm feeling this guy's pain. I'm in. I'm in so. I'm in so. I don't know if he was able to grab the knife. Don't be silly. Oh. You'll be brilliant. My goodness. Think of me as your inspiration. Oh. Misery's misery. Truly. Catch this. God forbid. I throw it back to you, Satan. Take it back. I hope they see his car right now. Like, if they can see his car, then they'll know. Yes! Thank goodness! Yes! Yes! We know that he somehow managed to crawl outside his vehicle, but we have been unable to find his From Colorado Police Chief Whereabouts Sherman Douglas. We will Sheldon. be updating you with a Someone, see, see? Someone opened the door. Yes. He never crawled out of that car by himself. wasting the paper before she gets angry with us again and says we're wasting paper paper that she worked hard to buy it's not worthy of you throw it all out except for that part of naming the grave digger after me you can leave that in i know that mr man they also call them cereals i'm not stupid you know you all got amnesia they just cheated us this isn't fair they always cheated like that in um, chapter plays. But not you. Misery was buried in the ground at the end, Paul. So you'll have to start there. We're in trouble. We're in big trouble. I don't. I can't sit still. I'm. I'm not myself. Uh oh. You better. Oh, Paul. 
which was that misery must be Lady Evelyn Hyde's long lost daughter because of the rarity of deadly bee stings. My yeah, have to wait. Will she still love him with that special, perfect love? Oh, this whole house is gonna be filled with romance. <gasps> I'm gonna put on my Liberace. Inspire you. He's my all time favorite. Annie, I couldn't have done it without you. He's going to try and drug her with the pills he's been No, he's not him. here. Jim, we've been through this before. If you're gonna have benches out in front. Well, whoever she is, she sure likes to read a lot. You see, it's just that kind of sarcasm that's given our marriage real spice. I hope you like it. It looks wonderful. So do you. The children and to give it that little extra zip, I mix in some Spam with the ground beef. Ah. Let's have a toast. A toast? Yes, to, um, to misery. Let's do this right. Do you have any candles? Did you uh, study decorating or do you just have a flair? Oh, yeah. Well, it certainly says you. You really think so? Oh, Are you kidding? If anyone had ever told me that one day I'd be having a candle, will this do? It's perfect. She's going to see. It can't be that easy. It can't be to that misery? easy. I'm so scared. And to Annie Wilkes. Every time I think about it. Oh, 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 oh. Will you ever forgive me? The girl is smart. Can we pretend this never happened? Oh, my goodness me. So she didn't think it. Wow. This is a sick. How would he? I can't, I don't even, my brain, I can't wrap my mind around how he'll do it. Paul, this is positively the best misery you've ever written. Sometimes it gives me the blues. I know you don't love me. Don't say you do. You'll never know the fear of losing someone like you, if you're someone like me. The book's almost finished. Your legs are getting better. She won't catch you. Are you sure she won't catch you? Oh Local investment banker dies. Carl will. Oh, isn't she Annie? That's the husband. That's what. Well, it was. Top nursing student falls to her death. Garner's nursing school honors. Ah, oh. veteran pediatrician dies while in coma at local hospital. Wilkes News County head nurse. Oh my God. She kills people. Nurse Chris, infant death. Hospital. Maternity nurse behind bars. Kept killing people in her way. The very first Wilkes was that would her because she said that she I think she said she was married. Is that her father? She killed her classmates. Maybe she killed her father. She killed her classmates, nurses. Oh my god. She was even arrested. How did she get out? How did she get out? He left the other door open. 
the living room door. He left it open. Maybe so it will raise suspicion. Paul, I know you've been out. My little ceramic penguin in the study always faces due south. I know you've been out twice, Paul. First, I couldn't figure out how you did it. I know I left my scrapbook out. I can imagine what you might be thinking of me. Eventually, you'll come to accept the idea of being here. That would be like junking a Mercedes just because it had a broken spring. No, the operation was called hobbling. What's this? Whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. What is this? What is this? What's going to happen? Please. Please. Trust please. me. Please. 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 It's please. for the best. Please. 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 I can't. Pause. 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 I can't. Oh. 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 My leg. My back. My back and my leg. Oh my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. I can't. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. I'm limping. She's broken his leg. Let's just, just watch this evil film and finish it, please. Let's just. broke his leg. I have to go back and see. I know I don't have to see. But I have to see. Ah! My leg, my leg. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in my ankle. Ah! Oh. My back and my leg. I have to see what happened. I don't have to see. I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. But I have to. I have to, you guys will say I didn't see what happened. What did he do? All I saw was one leg. I saw one leg going the other right the direction. I saw one leg going the other direction. Oh, one feet. He bent in a way that is not normal. He bent in a way. If 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 that pain doesn't kill this man, oh, nothing else will kill him. If that pain, if he, his body will just go into shock, he will have a heart attack and die because this is torture. Mm, just, oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, she said hobbling. Hey! 
Oh, people have thought of evil things in this world. They've thought of evil things in this world. God sake! It's for the best. <laughs> I saw it, I saw it, you guys, I saw it. I saw it with my eyes. I didn't see it, but I heard it. I heard it. I had boat crashing. To shock. Can't he die from shock? They broke his leg. Oh, my body is in pain right now. I'm having rigor. And then Deb returns to hospitals. Nursery home. Wilkes told reporters there is a. See? Wilkes told reporters on courthouse steps there is a justice higher than that of man. I will be judged by him. The quote that he read in the book. Time that fella writes a new book, she has me set aside the first copy. Well, that kind. Nothing odd about that. Mm -hmm. Ms. Wilkes done something? Don't go there by yourself. Don't go there. She's crazy. Don't go there. To put... Oh, my God. Scratch her face. Scratch her face. Leave a mark. Oh, I scratched her face. Thank God, she carried that man. She's strong. Old oh, man, she's stronger than you. She's stronger than you. She's stronger than you, I'm telling you. Oh, my. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but you didn't give me... What do you want to know? Well, anything you could tell me might help. Quite some time now, and I... I know, it's so upsetting. I'm his number one fan. I've got all his books. Of course, you must know all about that horrible accident. Mind if I take a look around? When I was praying, God told me to get ready. God told me, since I was his number one fan, that I should make up new stories as if I was Paul Sheldon. I know how he wrote. The kinds of words he used, the wonderful stories he told. I could give you a couple of hundred pages of mine and you could tell me what you think. Mm, I'm not much of a critic. Like a nice hot cup of cocoa. No, really, I don't it's care. It's no trouble. There's some already made. Must get lonely living out here all by yourself. No, she knows we're going up the stairs. There's no way she will know. There is no way she would know you're up the stairs in her house. There is no way. She's going to kill you. She's going to kill you. How can you just go around? She's going to kill you. Why was she killing babies? Did she lose a child herself and maybe she lost her mind? Oh my God. Oh my gosh, she's going to get you. I best be going. But you didn't even taste your cocoa. Yeah.
Brooks, are you all right? She's going to kill me. Mr. Sheldon? You see, I've known for some time why I was chosen to save you. Oh, darling, it'll be so beautiful. Cookie, you've killed the sheriff, Virginia's husband. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you killed Virginia's husband. I love you, too. We have the power to give misery eternal life. But the time is now. Soon others will come. We'll be able to give misery back to the world. <laughs> I was fooling, silly. Ian and Winthorn dueling for the right to Misery's hand. Does Ian win? Oh. Did I do good? You did perfect. Remember how for all those years nobody knew who Misery's real father was? Or if they'd ever be reunited? Paul, you can't! Why not? I learn it from you. Can you pour the gasoline on her? Spray her with it. Spray her with it. Oh, she's cursing now. She's cursing. I thought she said she couldn't curse. Fight for your life. Fight for your life. Fight for your life. Fight for your life. I would have sprayed her with the rest of the gasoline. Fight for your life, honey. Oh. Be careful, please be careful. <laughs> Very first copy. The word I'm getting is the Times Review is going to be a love letter. Great. I thought you'd be thrilled. You're being taken. Any Wilkes. That old experience. Uh... I thought you were over it. I don't know if anyone could ever totally get over something like that. I'll be seeing you. You know what is frightening about stories like this? It's that there are people who are actually obsessively involved in other creatives' lives. And it's 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 something that tips them. There's something that tips her over the edge because I would really like to understand what happened. Yes, we saw Annie Wilkes' diary, right? Her her scrapbook with but we don't really know what tri tri tripped her, whether it was the death. We just started seeing her with the killings. What was it? Was it molestation? Was it just a random thing? Was it, what was it? What was the thing that caused her to be like that? Because it didn't start with him. He was just another person on her list. Maybe she just decided, okay, this will be the object of my obsession this year. But it was way back, even in her teens, back, back, back in her beginning. When she, was it a desire to be in the papers and she couldn't find out what she wanted to do with her life? She didn't know. Because I can't understand what, what was the trigger. Who am I? I feel so sorry for the sheriff who passed. And that is the thing that I always, when I watch films like this, I'm like, don't, don't share if you go investigating alone. Even if you're in a small town, you and somebody go. Someone waits in the car, you go in and search. So, you know, oh, this woman was 
evil 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 i kept seeing oh my goodness when when he when she broke that leg and i heard him scream and i heard the bone crush i was like please buddy if there's ever a time you listen to your owner just go into shock you know just go into a heart attack would be useful around now just to eradicate the pain I wonder what pill, you know, we didn't know what the pill she was giving, if it was truly pain relievers or if it was something that was making his legs sweat. You know what I mean? Maybe medicine vet for pigs. Misery. Oh. John, John, John. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go rest now. On to the next. Mm -hmm.